What's up all me, Walkstables, Droids, and Wookiees? It's Anna, also knows that Star Wars girl, and today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a breakdown between all of this drama with Kevin Smith going after Clownfish TV. Now, if you guys do not know who Clownfish TV are, it is a YouTube channel that's run by a husband and wife, uh, Neon and his wife, Geeky Sparkles. So this is uh, Geeky Sparkles' Twitter, this is Neon's Twitter, and then this is their Clownfish TV official Twitter. And then again, this is their YouTube channel. All of this will be linked below. I'd highly recommend you go follow and subscribe to all of the accounts that I just showed you. Again, the links are in the description of this video. They are awesome and they make awesome content and it turns out they know what they're talking about so this all started back in March so these are tweets that were now deleted by clownfish TV because neon has said multiple times that he was actually debating on and you know really considering just taking down Twitter and you know just wiping Twitter clean because you know Twitter's kind of a toxic environment they don't really want to do that and then they change their mind later but so eventually he deleted uh, these tweets after you know Kevin Smith made a big hissy fit about it so basically what happened and again the links for this is gonna be in the description if you guys want to see this for yourself if it's too bluey uh, blurry up on the screen so clownfish TV originally tweeted my understanding of Kevin Smith he-man series from alleged insider Tila is a better he-man than Adam and he steps aside to let her and her girlfriend take over hero duties. If true, this won't play well. Now, it is a little bit off from what actually happened in the show, but that's pretty spot on here. Let me get this. If this is, oh, there we go, same one. Um, so basically what happens, and spoiler for the show if you haven't seen it yet, is Adam dies in the first episode, and it basically is Tila and her quote-unquote girlfriend running things. They don't even need weapons to take on Snake Mountain. They don't need anyone to help them fight any of the bad guys. It's basically like He-Man was pretty useless because Tila and her girlfriend don't really need help to do anything. They kind of got it on their own. So they are pretty spot on on this. And then Kevin Smith decided to tweet back and say, as showrunner, I really could have used these story suggestions before we locked the scripts. However, no, he-Man does no stepping aside and Tila has no girlfriend in our show. Well, technically, it is a girl that is her friend. You know, and Andra is a girl that is her friend, even though we all kind of know, you know, what they're trying to bait at. And also, He-Man fucking dies. So yeah, he doesn't technically step aside, but he does fucking die, so he's not really there. Tila is running the damn show. And so then the next day, or is this, yeah, so, uh, excuse me, not the next day, but a little, uh, a few months later, uh, this article came out from Screen Rant, and Clownfish TV tweeted out a screenshot of it highlighting their point, and they said, told you, then Kevin Smith responded with, with all due respect to Screen Rant, I've read every Masters of the Universe official script for our show, plus wrote a few and viewed four amazing animatics. While Tila is as present as she's always been in the Masters of the Universe adventures, and she plays a big role, our series is literally all about He-Man. No, it's not. If anyone's watched the show, you know it's all about Tila and her feelings and how she's pissed off because Adam sacrificed himself to save everyone and she's pissed off because sh nobody told her that he was He-Man because she spends more time at the gym lifting weights and drinking shakes than she does actually exercising her brain and using critical thinking. It, it's, it's absolutely bizarre. Okay, so then this was the follow-up. So then somebody was asking, uh, saying, hey, at Kevin Smith, I love you, man, but if you bash someone and belittle them and it turns out they were right, then I don't know, man, that sucks. And then Kevin Smith responded with a screenshot from the initial uh, encounter with Clownfish TV and says this, there is no side to my story. This was my only interaction with uh, the Twitter prior to the correction I tweeted yesterday. I honestly don't see where I bashed or belittled anyone. I thought it was an extremely good-natured, non-combative exchange. Am I missing or misreading my own tweet? And so that's pretty much uh, all of the tweet, the tweet, the Twitter story that happened. But uh, Clownfish TV did do videos on it. And again, I highly recommend go, you know, subscribe to their channel. They're awesome. They make awesome content. And they have been killing it recently. Their channel is exploding right now. So go and, you know, help them out any way you can. And again, they've done plenty of videos on this subject themselves. I'd highly recommend going and checking it out. Like even, you know, the gotcha, they were going over the reviews 
of the show because some people got special access to the reviews before anyone else did. And they were all saying the same thing. Hey, Clownfish TV, guess what? This initial tweet, they were fucking right. And all we had, all it had to take was us to watch the show to see that Kevin Smith is being full of himself. And so then after the show came out for everyone to see, Kevin Smith did this show on his on his YouTube channel. Now, he had the live chat turned off for this and Clownfish TV posted screenshots of that. And it's getting ratioed pretty hard uh, because of the bullshit that he says. Now, I'm going to play you a clip from this live stream where he addresses Clownfish TV. So let's check it out. You know, uh, uh, Pimpin said, you apologize to Clownfish. Clownfish was the the ap operation that the uh, website and video show and stuff, whatever it is. The uh, And I'm not dismissing it. I have to be so fucking careful because anything I say, they're like, you're attacking Clownfish. And I'm like, not at all. I've always been very fucking kind to Clownfish. But regardless, um, Clownfish, the people are saying, you you lied to Clownfish. you got to apologize. And I honestly fucking believe with my heart. I put my child's life on it. None of those things I said are fucking lies. They're yeah. all factual shit. Um, I will uh, apologize for like leaning into it and, and, and tweeting and then hitting it again, tweeting again later on simply to obfuscate from what I felt like was the thing I didn't want anyone to know. Same day the Clownfish's tweet goes up, there's some other tweet that said something to the effect, and again, we're spoiling the show, so hopefully everyone's seen it, that said something to the effect of, I hear they kill Adam in episode one. So right then and there, I'm like, Jesus Christ, we're like fucking months away from this thing coming out. If this outs, like, oh man, that's gonna suck. And not because I'm like, oh, They'll all hate me and shit for emasculating He-Man. More because, like, I just didn't want to spoil what was a cool thing. Not only that, I mean, they're so putting in, the so spoiler. Let me finish, let me oh, yes, internet, yes, please, remember? please, please, so, yes, internet, internet. While I was sitting there going, like, oh, shit, they're going to start talking about this. Over here is a conversation that I can address. Like, that's, like, where they're like, hey, man, I hear Tila, I hear He-Man steps aside. Tila, you know, has a girl. All the things I said. So I was like, I can answer this. And, and maybe take attention away from this mm -hmm. over here and mercifully that never got louder yeah like nobody ever knew so that yeah. when the first episode played for people they were surprised yeah so I, I hope i mean some far too surprised and very vocal about it sure. on twitter now i was watching this live and i took a screen grab of it and i posted it up on twitter and so you know, I was watching the whole stream and a majority of the stream was like him introducing them, kind of talking about the start of the show. Then all of a sudden they just get into the backlash from the show and it's like you could just ignore it and take the high road and talk about all the positive things of the show and about making it and everything. But they focus for a very long time on the negatives. Now, so let me read you what I said. As uh, Kevin Smith, a uh, whole stream is bitching about the haters and literally name drops real clownfish TV. Take in mind, he has his comments turned off and follow us up the statement about clownfish, which he totally misrepresents, which he did. You guys just watched the clip. Yeah, technically certain things haven't been laid out flat, but th this is basically what happens in the show. Tila is a better human. She doesn't even need the sword. She doesn't need the power of Grey Skull. To basically run the whole fucking show. That's just what she's doing. Adam, yeah, okay, Adam doesn't step aside. He fucking dies. Okay, so there's a technicality. So he's grinding this on technicalities, which is really shady. But then he follows up all of the statement, which with, you know, a kind of long-winded, well, if you don't like it, then don't talk about it. All of this is doing great for me, and Netflix is happy about this. And I'll be doing a separate video on that entire situation, but right now we're going to focus on the situation with Clownfish TV. So even Geeky Sparkle saw this and responded, because, you know, I was like, look, look what's going on, and we were all on a live stream together over on Yellow Flash's show, just talking about this, and so this was her response to it. Wait, lol, he's been nice to us. He kept bringing it up and dragging us even when we weren't talking about it he didn't lie uh yeah sure okay jan he won't apologize to us but he'll apologize for dragging it out uh it ba uh, biting him in the ass whatever which it's true he did drag it out he's literally talking about this if he would have just ignored it none of this shit would have happened but it is what it is at this point it's really fucked up in my opinion because again neon and geeky 
are wonderful people. They have been nothing but kind to me. I've had nothing but good interactions with them. Even when people tried to start drama with it, me and uh, Geekies talked immediately. We actually did a stream here on my channel to talk about all the she shit. And she's been through absolute fucking hell. They get dragged by all of the animation people to <laughs> fucking hell and back because they make great content and they make great points and they talk a lot about the stuff that people don't want them to talk about. In a way, they kind of remind me of everything that was going on with uh, your boy Zach in comics because he was talking about shit that nobody else was really talking about. They talk about the side of animation that no one I've seen, act at least no one I found on YouTube has the, you know, has some of the insight that they have when it comes to a lot of animated shows. So again, I'd highly recommend going and subscribing to their channel. They make awesome content. Go and follow Geeky and go and follow Neon and their Clownfish official, uh, you know, uh, account over on Twitter. They are nice, awesome people and they make great content. And what does Kevin Smith do, though, after all of this? He decides to follow up with a closing statement in this stream directed at them. Tony Todd wasn't in L.A. Really? Yeah, and somebody else was in New York as well. Okay. Meth Method Man recorded in uh, New York. That might be a big spoiler. Right? I mean, some guy recorded <laughs> in... <laughs> Oh my God! Fuck. So maybe I wasn't the only one, but but um, it, when we when we started recording, it was right before you don't know who he plays. Um, someone hold on, hold on, clownfish! Please don't tell anybody, please. Please, don't, I'm gonna get in trouble if that gets out. Please don't tell me. Um, the uh, now that one wasn't as bad. I mean, he's still obviously salty about it, but at least it's a little bit more humorous. Even geeky uh, said on Flash's stream, like, "Oh, okay, he's being a little bit funny now." But still, this whole situation is just ridiculous. I mean, yeah, technicalities when it comes to the tweets, but at the end of the day, it's like, dude, you made the entire situation worse and you went after a YouTube channel that didn't even have 200,000 subs at the time because they were spoiling something. And like he says in the very first clip I showed, it was him trying to distract from the fact that He-Man dies and, like, that somebody had spoiled that. So it's like, so you go per strategically after one account to distract from something else. And he talks about in the... In, a, in the stream about how, oh, you know, if you don't like something, then don't talk about it. It's like, well, you do realize you could have followed your own advice, but you didn't. We're all in the situation that we're in. Now, it sucks. The whole situation sucks. It, it really sucks about what's happened to He-Man and Masters of the Universe. But on the bright side, Clownfish TV is doing really, really well again. Like I said earlier, their channel is exploding. So I'd highly recommend their content. They make great stuff. So guys, go over there and subscribe to their channel. And let me know what you think about this whole situation down in the comment section below. Like, what do you think about the way Kevin Smith handled it? Uh, you know, have you followed Clownfish TV? What do you think about this whole situation? Let me know in the comment section below. And until next time, everyone, I hope you have a great rest of your day, morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are in the world. And may the force be with you because we are really, really, really gonna need it. Bye, everyone. Hey, everyone. If you'd like to help support the channel, check out my Etsy, where I sell prints of my original oil paintings and drawings that range from horror villains, heroes, and your favorite Star Wars characters. I also have an art channel uh, where I post time lapses and tutorials. And also, if you want to see work in progresses, I also have an Instagram dedicated specifically to that. Then finally, you can check out my Teespring for wearable merch and all platforms are listed down below in the description of this video. So thank you so much everyone and have a great rest of your day.